Hello, it's Joe, and welcome to another, or well, it's gonna be the first, Minecraft survival video! <laughs> Yay! I recorded a first episode of this series, and, like, the thing got, like, was really bad, and I could not do anything with it. So, I'm just having to start here. I made, like, a little bed and a little farm, and I got a little place set up, and I found a village. So, I'm planning on going over there today and doing stuff with the villagers. And as you can see, I've spawned next to a um, flower forest. And I had a little bit of canoodling with that beehive over there. It was, it was pretty bad. So let's head over to the village. And here it is. Um, so what I wanted, I don't want to stay or spend too much time in the village because in the past I've had villagers just like disappear out of their villages probably because they got killed. Oh. Oh look, there's a mine shaft. I might go check that out. Oh, hello over there. You're a bit far away from the rest of your friends. <laughs> okay, guys. So, well, let me go sleep. So, basically what happened is I recorded my whole episode, or a lot of, like, 40 minutes of footage, and the audio got all messed up. So I can't use it, or I'm not going to use it, because, like, nothing really happened in it anyway. I just went mining, but, and that's not really, like, too exciting. I'm not going to show, I'm not going to show you guys me mining. Um, oh, I'm lagging. Lag spike. But, like, so I'm not sure exactly what I have that you have seen. Um, there's a mine shaft over over in this cave over here with a double cave spider spawner so or I hope it's a double cave spider spawner I'm not actually sure so we'll go check that out in a later episode but what I planned to do was I'm gonna take my villager or I'm gonna start to like live off villagers I'm gonna live off villagers in the beginning of this thing so I'm I've made a villager breeder over here let me eat up, and I'll move my villager, and I'll just get some villagers set up in there. Alright, so here comes the hard part. I'm gonna ha oh, he lost his job. Um, I'm gonna have to take this villager and make sure he gets all the way up into that hole. It's gonna be a blast. So I'm gonna... <laughs> Can be so bad. Okay, push. Okay, push. One step at a time. One step at a time. Come on. Come on. Okay, it's not so bad. Okay, that wasn't so bad. So now, just nudge him into the hole. this side no push him there so then now he'll be centered and then or oh, he better actually let me move the rail so he doesn't go down the rail again I can just close this and pop it off oh it stays oh that's interesting right now I can't get back up uh, it, okay he's in there So second villager now. Come here. Come here. No, where are you going? 
put down the mine cart. Get in the mine. Now I'm in the mine cart. Go. Go. In the. There we go. Alright, second villager captured. Time to bring him over. Alright, I got my second villager over here. Look at this. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. Uh, this guy's probably gonna be so much harder. The last guy went so easy. This guy's gonna be probably so hard to, like, do. Okay, let me, let me get prepared this time. Uh, I don't wanna trade with you. Stop dancing. All right. One step at a time. One step at a time. Oh, all right. Why'd you stop? What happened? Keep going. Is that other guy in your way? Break this. And then break the minecart. Alright, and then you... Yes, okay. I did it. Villager breeder, done. Now I just need to give them crops, or... They should have crops, because they're farmers already. Or they were farmers. And watch them breed. Um. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do this. Boom. 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 So, like, things. Or, well, baby zombies could, like, hit them through the corners. So, just put stuff here. So, nothing could, like, hit them through corners and, like, kill them. <laughs> Look, I have a little door I can give them the food through because it won't go over. No! You take it! I don't want it. Did they take it? Oh, that's all they needed, some food. All right. Do they have a baby? And he fell down, right? Yes, okay. It works. It works. I'll make an AFK fish farm right now. So I can, like get stuff I'm gonna so I'm gonna build my fish farm all the way out here so that my villagers aren't constantly making babies and then gonna like just kill my game from all their baby making so I'm putting a alright so I'm gonna use a design that was I've seen showcase or that I've seen Exumavoid talking about in his videos like he made a video about it I don't know if it's his design um, but I'm just gonna leave a link to the video he posted or he made about it if I remember it's, it's pretty simple like not too too crazy so these so actually I'm just gonna do the main part of it Here's what you do. You have the note block here with a iron trap door. Yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, you just put your hopper under the fence post. You put your, and then you can put just put your chests. And then you put your water on top of the hopper. Okay, so this is my little auto fish farm. I'm going to put a block on the back so that nothing can like, I'm going to put like, yeah, I'm going to put something on the back so things can't like shoot me, like skeletons can't shoot me through the opening in the back. Where's my bed? Here's the bed. There, I'm just going to leave it like that. It's fine. It's fine. Just have a little, a little thing, a little head on there. But yeah, so 
the, th what, the thing is you need so you need to have a hole or an opening above your block of water because that gives you that makes it better when you're fishing and then you can't have something on top of the note block because that will stop you from being able to right click it to like tune it and that'll like mess up the farm and for the collection system you just have a bunch of chests out under there so I'm not gonna make this look very parody right now because you know it's just like this actually I also like to give myself access to the hoppers because stuff sits inside of the hoppers right so I just do this like that and then I just continue the line like straight down like that I don't have like I don't have it like go out I just have it go straight down right so I'd probably add like one or two more chests here um, or I'd add, I'd add two more chests maybe more depending on how much you fish and they will get like if you have good enchantments on your fishing rod they will like get filled up if you FK for a long time just keep that in mind how you use it I don't know if this is exactly how it should be done but you like look right here between the pressure plate and the iron trap door and you cast your rod and then you're gonna like click the um, note block and then when you get catch a fish the bobber thing bobby thing will move down like on pressing the pressure plate and the iron trap door will close and then you'll pull back in the rod like that it's good to have a mending fishing rod because when you fish when you catch a fish you get experience so basically your rod will be able to like repair itself as you're fishing which is great so you can like go fishing forever and you don't have to worry about like oh is my fishing rod broken like unless something happens but like be careful if you you have mending armor on because the mending armor might the mending armor might take the um, experience and your fishing rod will then break so that's it for this episode everyone be careful I'm punching I don't want to hit any villagers but yeah that's it for this episode um I'll get those farms set up over there next time I'll do some AFK fishing probably catch a bunch of fish and like get a bunch of junk and so yeah I'll see you in the next episode Bye.